Who is Paul Hill? If you were to pass by the Ladies' Center Abortion Clinic in Pensacola, Florida, on a Saturday morning in the early 1990s, you would see a tall, slender, blonde man carrying a sign and calling out to women who entered the building. His cry of, Mommy, Mommy, don't kill me, could be heard inside the walls of the facility by staff and customer alike. The cry resounded even within the killing chamber, and at times may have had its desired effect. The saving of an innocent preborn child only moments before that baby was scheduled to be ripped apart by a suction machine. On March 10th, AD 1993, Michael Griffin shot and killed abortionist David Gunn outside an abortion mill in Pensacola, Florida. Five days later, Paul Hill appeared on the Donahue television program and justified the shooting. With the support of many anti-abortion activists, Mr. Hill subsequently justified the shooting on numerous other shows, including ABC's Nightline. As a result of the shooting, the first defensive action statement, which codified the position, was drafted and signed. July 29th, A.D. 1994. In July of the following year, Paul Hill shot and killed John Britton, the abortionist who took David Gunn's place at the killing center in Pensacola, and his usually armed escort, James Barrett. During his trial, Judge Frank L. Bell of Escambia would not allow Mr. Hill to explain to the jury the reasons why he took this action. Paul Hill was executed on 3rd September, A.D. 2003, at Florida State Prison. Paul Hill has served as a Presbyterian minister in both the Presbyterian Church of America, PCA, and the Orthodox Presbyterian Church, OPC. He was a well-known advocate of the duty to defend both born and unborn children with whatever force is necessary. Paul Hill said, I think more people should act the way I acted. Pensacola News Journal, September 3rd. A.D. 2003.